Conway, you can find me on the web at jjconway.org. You can also find me at meetup.com slash buildwealth with JJ Conway. And I'm here at the Kingstown Family Life Center, and we are um, assembling everything. And um, we've got the media cart. It's a Norwood item number NOR-OUG 1042-SO. And it didn't come with any instructions. And at first I was kind of freaking out a little bit. I'm trying to get my video. At first, I was trying to, kind of freaking out a little bit, but I realized that um, it's actually not that hard. Now, it's called adjustable height. I think the reason it's adjustable is because they give you three sets of tubes, and you can adjust the height to be whichever you want. So we're just going to go over real quick. We're just going to go over real quick how to assemble it because it actually doesn't look that hard just judging from the pictures. So you've got four of an intermediate height, you've got four of a tall height, and you've got four of a, of a little bitty height there. So you can decide which ones you want. Um, but basically, there's two units that look like this. Okay, you put you put whatever size poles you want in them. Put whatever, and then put the the uh, feet in one of them. And that's going to be your base. Hang on. You can see we've got the feet in. They just pushed in. Um, check it out. This one here has a um, break. Okay, so we got the feet on. Now we're going to put that one, the middle layer, on top. All it does is it just goes on. <laughs> you want some help, hun? Oh, it looks like you got it. Watch your fingers. Don't, don't, don't get them caught in there because it'll pinch like it pinched mine. All right, now to get it firm, you can tap it with a mallet if you want. Get the hammer. Or should I let you do the video? Just tap them down. Yeah, we really should have a mallet, but we don't have one. All right, now let's get the other layer. Go ahead and get that on there. Oop. All right, let me, let me pause it because the video is getting too long. Okay, so there's a piece to wind the cord around. Show them how it goes on. And you can see it's got the three little the three little holes there. That's where you would put the screws that come with it. Stop. What happened? Last thing is the um the, the power cord, which you can see there's a little slot here. It slides up in there. Okay, and then that slides in, and then once you get it lined up, use some screws in these two holes, and boom, you're good to go. All right, we're going to go put it together.